Okay. Okay, we got a UU battle here with um some more new stuff I got. It's like all Ricks, but whatever. <laughs> um, he switched out from a Perugly with a Steelix for some reason, and it's just a switch fest on his part. So he predicted Fire Blast, and I hit him with an Air Slash, and he probably thinks he can stay another one, and I guess kill me with Surf, even though it's kind of a waste of a Blastoise, but I have Hidden Power Grass, so that's dead. And that's just good to know, two hit KO's Blastoise, that's, that's a win right there. So he goes to an Espeon, and I, I honestly thought it was offensive, so you know I wanted to save my Moltres for later, go to Registeel, but he's got a dual screen, Espeon, I think I said his Elf, but I'm stupid, so... Uh, anyway, okay, he's wishing, I'm just seismic tossing, I don't want to get synced with paralyzed, and then I almost paralyzed here, but then I figured, well, he's just going to go to Steelix and set up his rocks, so I'll predict that and go to Moltres, but that's not what happens, he goes to a Honchkrow, but okay, light screen's up, I gotta hit it, or otherwise it's going to rate my team, so Fire Blast does about, whoa, that does a lot with light screen up, did like... So that does like 150% without light screen. That's like three Haunch Crows and two Fire Blasts. How wind is that? Oh, and sadly Moltres has to die here because, well, I can't really switch out and I can't exactly roost and stall him out because he's doing over half. So I just go to a Scarf Rotom. It's a safe play. He goes to an Altaria and I hit it with Thunderbolt. doesn't do a lot, so I know it's a bulky one with roost. So he dra he dragon dances again, and that's fine. And I see light screen war off there, so I know next turn reflex wearing off. So you know I can flinch him, and that works. And then I know he's gonna roost here because it's bulky. So I hit him with a body slam, and wow, Perugly, that is nice. And then I sucker punch right here, and that is just like I love this Perugly so much right now. I can't believe that worked so well. And the one thing about this Perugly, well, all Peruglies are, but it outspeeds Espeon and kills it with a U-turn. I, I just thought he was going to wish or set up something, but that was awesome. And Espeon's dead, so that Perugly is amazing. You should all go get one. And here, here's the stupid thing I do, because I, I totally had this one. I just, I assumed I saw all his walls, so I tricked the Steelix, figuring, okay, whatever. But what I should have just done is fucking hidden power fighting but I'm stupid and um god I thunderbolt because I know he's gonna switch so haha -ha, thunderbolting is steelix that's a win and he goes to this thing and I'm like oh god if it starts cursing that's gonna be bad news so I go to Nido King now because I want to hit it with a mega horn and hopefully actually hit it so I do that and he hits me with a oh fuck he rests oh god he was rest talk this is the s it's a good idea in UU especially, but it's just, it pissed me off because I'm up 5-2 right now, but I'm going to fucking lose after kicking his ass the whole goddamn battle. He gets a stupid ass set. It pisses me off. Anyways, no, I totally sound like Becker right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh, I Megahorn here and, oh, that sucks because one more hit and I'm dead. So, uh, I want to save it for later, but I totally forgot I have Stealth Rock. But, I wanted to spin those away now, or at some point, I don't know. He's just, he's locked in on Roar. And then I, I know at this point I'm fucked, because I so needed to trick that fucking Umbreon, but I'm stupid. And I tricked the Steelix when I, I knew I could have killed it, but I just thought, it, like, well, who the hell has, like, five fucking walls? So, um, he's just spamming Roar, so I just, I body slam what the hell i get para hacks which is pretty cool and then i figure well he's just spamming roar maybe i could trick the scarf back and then i could rectify my mistake but no and this is another thing that's stupid if i did know he was going to switch and just hidden power fighting uh, even here i could have three hit ko'd him with hidden power fighting because thunderbolt's not gonna fucking two hit ko him which is gay so i was like oh just give me a crit because i know you're not dying and, uh, okay, Hidden Power Fighting is actually not as powerful as Thunderbolt here, so, yeah, it's like 2.5, but it's still a difference. Uh, and then, basically, from here, I'm just speeding the video and slowing it down at various points to show you where I was trying to be a cheap asshole to try and get the win that I so badly, honestly, and I deserved it, but, uh, that pisses me off. 
So that was like a uh, like a two minute clip in like four seconds. It was speeded up like sped up like four thousand times, which is pretty cool. And um, Blastoise is in now. It is rapid spinning to save the Needle King from coming back earlier, and nothing is gonna do anything really. I have to just stay in with whatever I can and just try and crit him. Even if I had Moltres, I could have tried to hit him as best as I could with Fire Blast before he got all attack boosty with payback and stuff. And, okay, as you can see, I'm just trying to freeze him. That's why I'm staying in. And he's just setting up on me, which is like not like anything I do about it. And then I die. Uh, I go to Progly, just trying to get a crit body slam. But that doesn't work out. And then Registeel comes in, and this is just the stalliest part ever. I'm just seismic tossing, and he's and when I get him low, I'm trying to iron head flinch him or crit him, or at least try to flinch him into seismic toss KO range, but that doesn't work. And then Umbreon's just gonna kill Rotom because it's all I have left, so that fucking pissed me off. But he got lucky with a set that I couldn't really do it. Well, I could do shit about it. I just fucked up, and all the times I could have done something about it, I didn't. So, that was gay, I'm pissed, but it played well. Oh yeah, I even go for a Stone Edge Crypt, but I don't get it. That's like four fucking games without a fucking bit of hacks on my side. Fuck you!